Hey, what's going on everybody? Syracuse here with uh, Angry Thursday Episode 2. Not much is going on this week. Just a, uh, this is just a quick little TDM on C-Town. Not much going on this week. Not a great vid. Just got on not too long ago. Decided to play a few games, get that commentary out for you guys. It was, uh, well, like Tuesday or Wednesday, and I'm like, oh man, I don't really have much to talk about this week. It's going to be a pain in the ass to uh, do an Angry Thursday video when I'm not angry. But then all of a sudden, my friend called me, told me to look on ESPN, and what happens? Any of you guys that follow college basketball know what's going on, and that's Fab Mello will not be playing for Syracuse in the NCAA uh, tournament, which is today. I am, like, I don't even have words to describe how fucking angry I am. I mean, you know what? He had problems early. You know, as a player, like, are you, I mean, you can't get help. Like, if it's great, I don't know. They, they haven't even come out and said what it is. But if it's grades, that's just, I'm sorry. You have no fucking excuse for that. No fucking excuse. All that talent. I mean, if it's grades, I can just see him coming out in the draft. Because he's not, I mean... If you're having this much problems, try that much trouble in school, you might as well just drop the fuck out and go get an NBA contract because you're not gonna pass. If you don't, you can't make the requirements just to stay on the team. Just forget it. Give up, bro. Go get the, go get the uh, NBA money and uh, worry about the rest of the the team because they need to go out and get people that can actually pass a class or stay out of trouble. Whatever, whatever he's not playing for, which I'm. As far as I know, it still hasn't been released. But, I mean, <laughs> we had two losses all fucking year. Two. One was at Notre Dame when he didn't play. And the other one was they just played like shit against Louisville. Louisville played out of their... Or, I'm sorry, Cincinnati. Cincinnati was, like, shooting their lights out. Couldn't miss, and we couldn't shoot. I mean, it's pretty much a bad combination. So I'm pretty fucking pissed off. I mean, I thought we... With him? I mean, I figured Final Four, and from there you could roll the dice with them because they're... You never know with them. They play their worst game and they're still in the game. But if they shoot good and have a good offense, you're not touching them. I'm sorry. They're just too good of a team. But with him out... <laughs> I don't really... I don't think they can go far. I mean, he's a big part... Defensive player of the year in the Big East, and he can't play. I mean, come on. And, they, you know, their scoring is not what got them there. That's for sure. Look at this. A double hit marker. Oh, my God. I was freaking out for a minute. You know, that's. Oh, I'm pretty pissed off about that. I mean, other than that, don't really have much to bitch about. Other than the fucking shotguns in this game. I mean, you know, if you're watching this video, put your fucking shotguns away. Nobody wants to fucking deal with that. You're ruining the game. That's what happened to Modern Warfare 2. Everybody with their new fucking one-man army noob tubes and shotguns, and pretty much pubs were unplayable, unfucking playable. At least in this game, I mean, you got your get. I mean, can, I can handle a type. Pretty much the shotguns and the uh, FM9 Akimbo's. Other than those two things, I really don't give a shit what you do. But those two things are just fucking annoying. I mean. You go play S and D in this game, and you play with a whole party, and there's at least one or two dudes in it running around with a shotgun, and you'll put like half a clip into them, and they'll turn around, hit you with one bullet, and you die. I mean, just fucking aggravating. But I really don't have much to talk about. I want to hear what uh what you guys are fucking pissed off about this week. Feel free to vent. Other than that, uh, a lot of things going on with my channel. Uh, you'll see a lot of new playlists coming out. You will see that I am uh, trying to get back into competitive Call of Duty, especially with the Frag Cup this weekend. It's uh, this weekend and next weekend. You have a choice to play in one of them. $10,000 for first. I mean, why would you not want to take a free opportunity, you know? But then again, I mean, it's so hard finding people. You have three types of people that, you'll f that I've been finding. Three types. And... If they're not in there, then I'll play with them any day of the week. You either get the guys that are fucking terrible, don't know spawns, don't know... You know, I'm always willing to help people out. You know, but these guys pretend that they know what they're doing, and they don't. Then you have the guys, they get on a team, 
scrim, 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 and then for like a day, and then the next three days you don't see them. And, you know, when you got, you try to keep the roster small so you can get some sort of chemistry down. And when you do that and people don't get on, and like, say, you, you know, you get home from school at 4, at, you know, you wait, you wait, you wait, then you go eat at 7, one guy gets off, and then of course the other guy gets on, and it's like a fucking carousel and you have nothing accomplished. Or you get the guys that are actually really good, know what they're doing, and they're just complete fucking assholes to the point that you don't want to team with them. You know? It's like I was in a, uh, a pickup scrim yesterday, and this kid's coaching. You know, you two go here, you two... It's a fucking pickup. Don't fucking coach me, man. If I ask for your help, then fine. Give it to me. But if nobody's asking for your help, don't act like you're fucking, you know, coach MLG over here. Just play the fucking game. So, I've been having a hard time just finding chill people that actually want to scrim, put the time in, don't rage, don't criticize. You know, that's how my team was when I played back in the day. We all got along, we all had constructive criticism, and it was actually really, really enjoyable. Now, I don't know. I. <laughs> that's why I quit playing, because it's just so fucking irritating. And I really contemplated just going to sports games... But, I mean, even if I went to sports games, I would still YouTube uh, this. I'm not really sure. We'll see how the uh, competitive scene goes. I mean, I can handle the host boon and this stupid bullshit. I just want to get a team that's set, plays, and, you know, is willing to put the effort in. But, other than that, I don't really have much to say. I'm going to think what else, uh, what else we can talk about before this video ends. I mean, we can just commentate a little bit on the video. It's a quick little game I did yesterday. Don't really use the UMP that much. Just doesn't, uh, I don't know. Here I'm using it silence, but I see people I just work to work with this gun. And it fucking pisses me off that I can't, you know? There's a something else that pisses me off that I can't use the UMP. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just haven't got used to it. The sway is a lot different than most guns from what I've noticed. It's a lot more, uh... A lot more loose, I should say. Look at this guy hiding back there. And I don't get him, right? Watch this. I don't get him. This is going to be the end of the video, by the way. But, uh... Apologize that I'm not pissed off this week. Don't really have much to rage about. If I'm not, I might not do this every week. If I don't have something to bitch about, I might just hold off and wait till next week. Look at this guy. Oh! Oh, and then last stand! Now, that's an angry fucking Thursdays. When you have last stand and rage quit like that. Like a fucking little bitch. So I hope you guys liked the video. Peace out. Sub, rate, comment, hit me up on Twitter. I love you guys.